Hello again, YouTube. So, my partner been driving the whole day. It is now almost midnight, mountain standard time. Uh, my partner's in the restroom at the rest area, currently in Nebraska. So I'm gonna do a pre-trip real quick. There's a lot of ice and snow, so I gotta be careful not falling down and all that. I'm gonna open the hood. I haven't checked the oil in a couple days, so I might as well just double check, check the belts, make sure they're tight. We're a little bit closer with people turning in, so try to check this real quick. See all this ice here. I think I might be filled the windshield wiper fluid just in case. Run into snow or rain. So the engine is running. Now we turn off the engine. We're gonna wipe the first one. And the second dip should give us an accurate reading. Alright, pretty much full. Coolant is good. Uh, power steering fluid. It's all good. Alright, let's go ahead. You feel the windshield washer fluid real quick. open okay open this one oh it's a fresh one just stab it stab 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 cool fill this up oh all right it's full still got that's some quarter of this i'll save this for later close this cap go ahead put the windshield washer fluid back the hood we're gonna do a light test okie dokie put these gloves away These lights are good, so let's check the rear and the sides. Okie dokie. Make sure these tires are good. Ah, so much ice water. This light is good. Check these tires. Kick, kick. Oh yeah. Kick, kick. Fuck. Look at the seal. Tail lights work. Headlights, uh, brake lights, and tail lights work. That's good. Let's go. That light work. Kick, kick. Okay. We are good to go. Everything is basically good. So I'm gonna be driving most of the night, and then after this, now we're gonna switch. All right. So just finish the pre-trip. Um, now I'm gonna be heading off out of this uh, snowy, icy truck stop in Nebraska here. We're gonna be taking uh, I-80 westbound. Hopefully there's no piled up snow or black ice on the road. If anything, worst comes to worst, we just put on snow chains. But we're just gonna have to head off here first. On this ice, because I don't want to lose, be losing traction going fast or anything. Yeah, as you can see, a lot of snow. Well, not too much snow, but decent amount. So we're going to be heading all the way down the end here. We're going to be making a left. 
driver. It looks like another Schneider driver coming up. I mean, he doesn't have any room to turn here. I'll let him turn. I don't know what he's doing. The exit's only on the left, right? It is to the left. There is an exit entry. They're both the same. I, I don't know what this guy's doing. I really don't. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I don't know why this guy's taking so long. There's only one entrance, one exit, and he's expecting me to do something. All right, I think we can have room for both of us to cross. I'm just gonna button hook to the right. I'm gonna go here. Drive pavement, which is my favorite pavement. All right, I'm gonna be heading I-80 westbound. I'll catch you probably in sunrise or something. I'm just gonna be driving throughout the whole night. Let's keep on trucking. Been driving for a few hours, so I'm pulling off at a rest area here in Wyoming. There's a lot of snow and looks really slippery so I'm just crawling on the rest area parking lot. So we're just going to take a 10 minute break here. I'm slowly crawling. I'm trying to find some parking. I think I see parking on the left right here. I think we can try to come inside. Alright, so we're gonna walk to rest area, but let me show you something. Look at this. It's all icy. This whole road is covered in icy, covered snow. So I'm just gonna take a little stroll to the rest area, but right now I'm doing night shifts. Um, I don't know if I really talked about it on my previous vlogs, but uh, it's kind of annoying. I mean, it's like my sleep schedule is all over the place. I'll get some sleep here, in and out of sleep. But it's just something I have to deal with because me and my current teammate, um, we agreed to just switch between day shift and night shift, you know? And team truck driving sucks because one person has to do that night shift here and there. And it sucks, you know? I think I'm potentially gonna go solo, um, a dedicated route easier with a local or a different company or hopefully Shattered to have like a good program for dedicated route solo. I'm gonna switch to that. This team is just really taking a beating on me. And um, you know, like every time you switch with a new partner, there's a potential that you might not get along, agree on stuff or, you know, your partner might not be capable. So team truck driving has been taking a toll on me. Honestly thinking, I'm gonna have to switch to uh, solo but before i switch i want to make sure it's like a good pay you know so i get well compensated so i'm sticking with team until i find a good solo route in the future but anyway enough of my rant let's check out this rest area seem like nobody's here wyoming pretty creepy but there's a the restroom so i just got these in the restroom Here's a Wyoming rest area. Got a picture of a buffalo back there. A bison, I think. Got a little theater. So you can watch a infomercial about Wyoming stuff. All right, so let's head on out. There's actually some cool monument outside the rest area, so I'll show you that. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so going outside to the monument is actually a big statue, Abraham Lincoln. So there is a the big uh, little head portrait statue of Abraham Lincoln right there. And you got some uh, information about him. Alright, so that's pretty cool. We saw a big statue of Abraham Lincoln right here. Well, just the bust of his head. And we're at an I-80 uh, going westbound rest area in Wyoming. I am pretty cold. My hands are freezing right now. So we're gonna go back in the truck, warm up, and then head back and end our break. Alright, make sure no way pull our lever. Alright, I'm heading out here, man. I'm freaking cold. We're gonna pull off and keep driving. So we came here, I-80 is closed, I've never seen this before. Um, I'm gonna have to take a detour route. So as you can see, we're gonna pull up here. They closed the whole I-80, I'm pretty sure it's because of some bad traffic or weather. I'm gonna have to park on the off side of the, sh the shoulder and try to find a route. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. closed I found a detour route uh, to go to Colorado um, to go I-70 westbound because I-80 is closed due to uh, high wind weather so let's take the detour it is what it is hopefully uh, I-70 is not too bad didn't look like it when I checked but let's keep on going So it looks like the snow plow is coming through um, on the opposite side. So I'll just stop here on the side real quick so he can get through safely. Right now we got a third truck up ahead. We'll see if he's done. going to keep it around 25 30 miles per hour some uh yeah honestly i've been through wet slushy snow and this is dry powder as long as you drive slow it's fine see if the weather was bad and the highway was too dangerous they would have closed the road and put this gate down but since it's up I mean it's drivable let's keep going all right I don't know what this guy is doing I'm gonna have to drive around and see what's up I don't understand why the CR England is literally blocking see, I'm not sure why the CR England is blocking like literally half of the road um, is he trying to tell me that there's too much snow? Because that's what it looks like. I'm gonna powder through this because that's really... If I stay here longer, snow will get deeper. But if I go, there's potential risk. We'll just crawl. We're just gonna crawl. All right, so I just talked to Sierra England. I was, you know, worried about why he stopped, but um, he basically got scared at the truck at the intersection and he slowed down. But then once he slowed down, he couldn't get any traction. So now he's putting snow chains. I asked if he wanted help. He said, "No, nah, man, I got it." So I'm just gonna leave it up to him. But he said the snow pile just recently plowed this road. It doesn't look like it, 
but he said it was thicker, so now it's thinner. Either I have to put on the chains or stop, but I'd rather keep continuing because if I stop, this snow is just gonna pile on. For now, it's snowing heavier. So, like he said, snow pile just recently came through here. I'm gonna keep going, just crawl through. It's at least the snow is dry and it's just powder, it's no ice or uh, slushy snow. Oh my gosh, this guy got stuck really bad. This is it's a pretty bad situation for that guy. I mean, pretty sure you already called tow truck, but. As you can see, this road is just filled with snow. Um, it's dry, it's not slushy wet snow, so I'm not putting chains on. But there's no reason for me to pull up to the shoulder because it's hard to judge how deep the shoulder is because the snow is, you know, piled on. There's only two trucks that got stuck on the shoulder. There has not been any signs to put on chains. Like I said, just snow is dry powder. I'm gonna drive slow, but there's no reason for me to put chains on unless it's icy or and wet. From here, I can't see any like indication of reference lines on the road. It's just pure white, and then now it's snowing heavier. I'm taking the risk, but I'm taking a planned risk. I'm not stopping my shoulder. That shoulder is deceiving. Because it's actually deeper than you think, as we saw the double trailer got stuck. Alright, so we drove through most of the snowy parts of the road. I mean, it's still piles of powder and dry snow but for the most part it's not too bad we're just crawling through slowly but surely still in Colorado driving in one of the snowiest parts here it's nothing but white powder everywhere it's like I'm visiting Santa Claus himself All right, so after dealing with all of that fiasco, driving in um, that junction highway to get to I-70, I made it out safely. Right now I'm parked at a um, rest area. So I'll catch you next time.